Okay, um, this is a reverse F to M. As you can see, they've given you the F to M. Instead of having you find it, they've given it to you. And what they want to know is part A, they want to know the concentration of MLVSS in milligrams per liter. And then in part B, I want you to tell how many mixed liquor suspended solids pounds should you maintain in order to maintain this F to M. So they want to know how much do we need in the system to maintain an F to M of 0.25. Um, the hardest part about this is that there is no set formula. Um, this is something you're going to have to do over and over and over again or try to go to a class and see if they'll tell you a formula. The way I do it is with algebra, uh, but I'm not going to use algebra. If you know how to do algebra and you know how to cancel out numbers, and uh, cross multiply, cross divide. Um, go ahead and do it that way, just like in your normal algebra cl class. But uh, for those of you that don't know algebra, I'm going to teach you sort of a different way. All right. So, what does F to M mean? F to M means food to microorganism ratio. So for every pound of bugs, they have 0.25 pounds of food. So we want to reverse this. So if I have a pound of food, how many pound of bugs do I have? So what you need to do is you need to multiply or divide the F to M or divide 1 by the F to M. So you're so you're reversing it. You're you're putting the M on top of the F and the F below the M. So this would really be an M to F ratio. So microorganism to food ratio. So if I take one pound of microorganisms and divide it by 0.25 pounds of food, that means that for every pound of food, I have four pounds of MLVSS. So right off the bat, take your F to M and take one and divide one by your F to M. And that tells you how many pounds you need in the system for every pound of BOD. Alright, so I figured that part out. Now I need to figure out how many pounds of BOD I have so that I can multiply it by 4 to find out how many pounds of MLVSS I have. So let's go ahead and do that simple pounds formula. 4.5 MGD times 8.34 times 135 milligrams per liter primary effluent BOD. Always remember that primary effluent BOD. It's what's going to the aerator. Should give you 5,067 pounds of BOD. So I, so I have 5,067 pounds of BOD. For every pound of BOD I have, I have four pounds of MLVSS. So let's go ahead and multiply 5,067 by four to get how many pounds of MLVSS I have in the, sec in the secondary, or in the, in the aeration basin. So when you multiply those two together, you get 20,268 pounds of MLVSS in the aeration basin. All right, so that's great. We have um, pounds now, but they want it in milligrams per liter. So what's that? That's just a reverse pi formula. So let's set up our pi. So we have 20,268 pounds of MLVSS divided by 1 mg which is the aeration basin volume, divided by 8.34. And what we're trying to find out is the concentration, so that's what it's going to give us. When you divide those out, you should get a concentration of 2430. So that's a backwards F to M. And uh, I guess the hardest part is remembering to do this. 1 divided by the F to M. If you can memorize that, and you can use... Uh, some sort of deductive reasoning to figure out um, the rest of it, you should be okay. So that's part A, and uh, this is they actually do it this way on the exam. Um, I had one like this where they wanted where they had a part A and it was worth this many points, and part B was worth this many points. Okay, so we figured out the concentration of the MLVSS. Part B, they want to know the pounds of the MLSS. So what we want to do is we want to take the MLVSS and divide it by 0.84 because 84% of the MLSS is VSS. 
So if I had the MLSS, I would multiply it by 0.84 and it would give me the MLVSS. But I don't. I have the MLVSS. So I need to divide it by 0.84 and it's going to give me the MLSS. So when I do that, you should get a mixed liquor suspended solids concentration of 2893 milligrams per liter. So when I do a pounds formula, 1 million gallons is the aeration basin volume times 8.34 times 2893 should give you an answer of 24,128 pounds of MLSS in the aeration basin. And that's it. So uh, the hardest part would be part A. And uh, like I said, if you know how to do algebra, um, it's easier because you, you only have to memorize one formula. And uh, if you know algebra and you know that formula, you can find any part in the formula uh, as long as you have all the other parts. So algebra is very helpful. When you start to step out of algebra with problems like these, um, that's when you get into trouble with having to memorize eight formulas uh, for basically one problem. So, uh, and if any of these are confusing, go back, watch them again, really listen to what I say, try and see if it clicks. If it doesn't, send me an email. I'll try to see if I can explain it a little better. But for now, we're going to go on. Okay, solids loading to a DAF. Uh, like I said earlier, DAF stands for dissolved air flotation. And it's a form of primary treatment. You'll see them a lot at um, industrial facilities, like laundry facilities, slaughterhouses, milk facilities. And uh, it uses air and a coagulant to float solids to the surface and sink solids to the bottom and then semi-clean water goes through the middle uh, and then you collect the solids from the top and the bottom. Uh, but you can also use a DAF for um, wasting sludge, which is what we're doing in this case. So uh, solids loading to a DAF is expressed as pounds per hour per square foot. So we know how to find out pounds per day. So if we can find out pounds per day, we can find out pounds per hour. And then square feet should be no problem for you. So let's figure out pounds per day. So I have a flow of 22,000 gallons per day. I need to turn that into MGD. So I divide it by 1 million. So that's 0 0.022 MGD times 8.34 times my concentration. <laughs> so when I uh, multiply all those together, you should get 1,560 pounds per day. Now here's the key. They ran the unit for seven hours. So you need to take this number and divide it by how long they ran it to find out pounds per hour. So 1,560 divided by seven hours should give you 223 pounds per hour. So that's how many pounds they're sending to this DAF unit per hour. Now all we have to do is find out square feet. 10 feet wide times 20 feet long gives you 200 feet squared. Now just put it all together in this formula and you got your answer. 223 pounds per hour divided by 200 square feet gives you a solids loading of 1.1 pounds per hour per square foot. And that's a pretty typical number uh, for a DAF unit. So fairly simple problem, um, not much to it. And like I said, deductive reasoning can come uh, into play with this. I mean, if you can look at this and really study what it's asking you, uh, you can figure this out without knowing um, how to do it. Uh, lots of the, Sometimes they do give you the formulas on the problems. Um, so if they give you this, just find out how many pounds per hour and divide it by square feet. You only have two feet to do, so those are the only ones that can be square feet. Uh, on the test, they might give you a depth, but depth is not part of square feet. That's part of cubic feet. 